In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build speed when it comes to sweep picking. So we've been talking about speed bursts for the previous two episodes and the thing is yes you can also apply it to sweep picking. So one thing which really benefits from speed bursts actually is when you do the sweep motion instead and then apply that to learning sweep picking. So everybody can do a strum motion where you strum a chord like that. Yeah, but as soon as you get them to sweep pick, it's like, oh, all of a sudden they forget how to strum, right? And they start picking each note individually. Well, this is where a speed burst can actually help you reverse engineer the technique of sweep picking. So, for example, if you were just fret three notes here, like, like that. So with your pinky, you've got the A note on the 12th fret of the A string. And then 10th fret of the D and then 9th fret of the G. You can actually speed burst that part with sweeping. Yeah, uh, you, you might find it tough to sync up both hands, but that is a test in itself, right? So, but the sweep technique itself, that's a really good way of getting the feel of it right there. And if you can replicate that feel with low tempo, then you'll understand how you can practice sweeping at low tempo. So that's one way to apply speed bursts to sweep picking. You can actually reverse engineer the feel of how the sweeps should feel because it's easier to sweep fast than it is slow. That's why loads of people are able to do a fast sweep, but if you ask them to put it together with the fretting hand, they've got no idea because they can't do it slowly, right? That's where this comes in handy. And just for breaking up any area of an arpeggio where you're having trouble, so you might, you might have trouble with this. Yeah, and if you want to speed burst that. Maybe you just want to do it because you just really want to push the top speed of your arpeggios. You really want to be able to sweep faster. That's one way of doing it. Yeah, you can really break things up any way you want to. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to apply to sweep picking because there's a a lot of different motions going on. You've got the sweep motion, and then you've got all the uh, separation that you need to do with the fretting hand, but it can be done. So if you're already competent with sweep picking, you want to boost the speed there, as well as doing the moderate tempo stuff, you can also boost the top end by doing speed bursts with sweep picking as well. So it's just worth knowing that speed bursting isn't just something you do for picking, you can do it for pretty much any technique you want to. It's just about breaking it down and focusing on the area you want to improve and then just doing that as a speed burst. So that's it from me. I'll see you next week for the next episode.